uh, for the top of the show. Um, I don't know if you guys have played it. I would highly recommend you do. But um, the official Twitter account for Ubisoft's Rabbids has changed their at from Rabbids official to at Mario Rabbids, which would seemingly point to them kind of poison themselves for a sequel to 2017's Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, which is still one of the best fucking games on the Nintendo Switch. And I think I think it's sold pretty well, but I, it still feels like a lot of people slept on it. Does that excite any of you? Uh, I did not play me. that, so I can't say anything. <laughs> I played it for about Sarah. two hours and I had a blast. So yeah, uh, it, it'll be good reason for force me to go back. <laughs> I haven't played it. Like I picked it up on sale, the gold edition. I played, I think the first two or three or four maps really, really loved it. Have not gone back to it. Not, not like out of like, not wanting to play it. Just honestly, I just keep forgetting. Same. Wait, you got the gold edition, right? Yeah. So it, all it, the DLC or whatever. It has the donkey Kong DLC. It's even better than the base game. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You got to play it, dude. Got to rep the I Kongs. Will. Believe me. I, I will. I just remember, was it the director who was at E3 who, when Miyamoto like complimented him, the dude like very sweetly started like crying? And I believe it's uh, David uh, Soliani. Yeah, and he was, and like he was, he was just like so like proud, and I was like so happy for him. Like I, I didn't even touch that game, but I just see that video clip some sometimes, and I'm like, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> It's just such a fucking good game. Actually, you know what? Give me once. Oh, do you have the statue? I remember that statue. I do not, but I do have a little rabbit right here. I like the rabbits. The rabbits are terrible. It it makes sounds, too. Oh, no! It makes noises. I hate it. (laughs) No, that's good. That's the good shit. The rabbits like freak me out, and I don't know if it's this like primal instinct over I just want to punt them, but I really mm-hmm. just want to just like punt no. them across the no, room. They're good. Like just like Maybe. first first viewing, I just want to connect my foot w- with its giant skull. Maybe it's because <laughs> I grew up on like slapstick humor or whatever, but the rabbits, like even the little, uh, I think it's like Nickelodeon show they did, it's just super fucking up my alley. So anything with them, I I'm all bored with. I forgot they did it. A- Mm-hmm. The show didn't come first, right? Raving Rabbids, the no Raving Rabbids, yeah. It was a uh, Rayman they... spinoff. Yeah, it was yeah. like it was like a Mario Party esque kind of thing, or not even Mario Party. It was like what? It was like almost like a WarioWare situation. It was sort of. Yeah, there, there, there was two of those, and then they started getting their own games. Mm-hmm. Then the TV show, and then Mario Plus Rabbids, which is probably the best thing that's ever come out of it. I think so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know, um, I mean, this like, this is, like, a Game. fact, I guess, that everybody knows, but, like, um, the soundtrack really stood out to me, because I was just like, damn, this is probably it's, a... This it's is Grant really Kirkhope, it's straight-up fucking Banjo-Kazooie. Yep. Mm-hmm. I, was, I was about to say, don't forget the Rabbids Connect game. <laughs> oh, fuck. Was there one of those? Yes, there was. Oh, shit. I there never had a Connect. Rabbids Connect game. There's only one Connect game that I know of and remember. The swear I've still played. Well, I played the demo for. It. I played the demo. For it. I played it, and and, and and I did use Connect with it, and it was fucking weird. I respect the shit out of a man who decides I'm gonna name my game D4, aka Dark Dream. I think you cut out for a second. Oh, so I said I respect the hell out of a man who calls his game D4. Dark dreams don't die. <sighs> don't make me sad. I know. I know. What Rest in peace, the Connect. Now what it's happened to little horror films. I don't know. I didn't even beat it. I played the demo, but like, it, he had health problems, man. And then the fucking company was like, well, we mm-hmm. still own the rights, and uh, it's such a fucked up situation. Yeah, I was really... Ho- I never I never did get to play uh, um, uh, uh, Deadly Premonition 2. I would really hope there was going to be like a book called like G4. <laughs> it's like green <laughs> greens gro- gry. Oh <laughs> and you'll find out what happened to little Peggy. I think, uh, uh, I think even aside wait, from that, some of the tra- was that the woman who thought that she was a cat? No. That, that was, that, that was, that was no, that was G4. No, was, like it was I like know that was D4, was, but I can't oh, remember who I just little remember. Peggy is. I, oh, that was the, the, the main character's um uh uh like girlfriend that went missing. Oh, I just remember. Okay. I just I, yeah, remember I there is. I just remember there is in um D four. Sorry, in uh, in Deadly Premonition two. 
is that um yeah you literally play the the in the beginning of the game you end up you you're in an apartment comp the same apartment complex of d4 and you're like an apartment above it and he says like yeah downstairs there's this there's this detective hopefully his story will conclude soon i just remembered it i just remembered it yeah do not spoil me on. I mean, aside from things that I want to judge on my own time with Deadly Commission Two. Um, First fifteen I, minutes. I still no no I know. I'm just saying mm. in general. Like I am excited to play that after I refinish uh, one again. Did they ever fix the frame rate shit, or is it still I, like complete? I, I don't think they fixed it. I don't think they fixed it all the way. I know that they dropped a bunch of patches on it, but I don't believe they fixed it all the way. Which kind of can I sucks. at least get twenty frames? Is like a bare minimum. The highest you're gonna get is like twenty three, my dude. You're you're not Damn. even gonna get a base number. <laughs> you're just gonna get twenty three. Didn't um, like see, Ocarina of Time run at like fucking eighteen frames, but it still looked okay. Well, that was the time. That sounds it was about the right. Time. Yeah. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real because every time y'all start talking about like this frames versus that frames and this or that, my brain's just like, does it look okay? Cool. Whatever, I don't care. No, not, I mean, you, I do the same thing. Frames doesn't matter to Mace, me. Mesa, he, have you joined the 144 hertz family? Oh, yeah, I, I, oh I, bought a, I bought a monitor, like a 144 hertz monitor. Like It is a... Cool. I bought my TV because it could do 120 hertz. Yeah, same. I don't want that, to look at it like a window. 40, I want it, it to is, be a fucking projection. You, you only see that because you haven't seen it. It is beautiful, my friend. I, well, I it is so motion beautiful. motion smoothing on a movie. I don't and, want and, and, Our motion time. smoothing's artificial. It's not native that's oh why it looks goodness. bad anyway <laughs> that's a whole other topic <laughs> the frame rate wars yeah, uh, yeah for me Hi, can, uh, I have my own, can i have my own corner to, to discuss shadows <laughs> shadows <of the> game, <laughs> please, <laughs> no. please. <Yeah>. No. <laughs> can i have my five minutes just to cry please we can right. do we can do our own special episode on uh, talk about shadows donor. and i talk about killer seven hell yeah let's do it i'm down <laughs> <laughs>